The following is a presentation of the technical details of FutureDial's mobile device diagnostic solution. FutureDial's mobile device diagnostic solution consists of the following components. An opt-in device client on customer devices that automatically reports technical problems and also allows customers to perform hardware diagnostics. A central diagnostic server with an artificial intelligence engine and other machine learning components to analyze problem reports and provide solutions to customer devices and to technicians. A vast knowledge base of solutions to known device problems, which grows with new solutions for new problems. A technician's console that each of your technicians can use for accessing the knowledge base and interacting with the diagnostic system to evaluate and submit solutions. The technician's console features an intuitive display of inferred solutions for reported problems, served up by the system's artificial intelligence engine, so the technician can see, at a glance, what possible existing solutions can be applied to the current reported problem. Such a diagnostic system requires a complete index of the knowledge base of problems and solutions. FutureDial will work with you to compile and construct what is taught to the artificial intelligence engine that powers the diagnostic solution. This is a system that you can mentor and train so that it grows smarter with increased usage to meet your operational needs. It is important to point out that this system is a learning entity. The system learns and gets smarter over time, and this becomes a unique competitive advantage to you depending on how and to what degree that you teach it. Let's peek under the hood to review some of the key components within the AI engine and to see how they function. The system gets its start from compiling the raw data from mobile devices in the field, which is stored in the domain data. Additionally, there are other reference materials which are added to the mix. These include data such as error code definitions, language dictionaries, troubleshooting tips and solutions for known issues, and other information. All of this forms the foundation for the AI engine to formulate its knowledge base. The AI engine runs on 60 algorithms which provide guidance for the system and direct the system on what to learn and what to focus on. One of the components is the word filter. The word filter takes the input from the domain data and reference materials and determines which words are meaningful for using within the system. Meaningful words could include things like device model numbers, error terms, and others. Next, the word table receives meaningful words from the word filter, and it is this word table which serves as a dictionary for the knowledge base. The word table next delivers data to the ugrams table, which will contain meaningful groupings of words in order for the system to make inferences. The location table works as a pointer to the raw database. It lists the location or the origin from where the ugram groupings were extracted by the system. The relations table keeps track of which ugram is related to other ugrams in the system. This helps the system in making related inferences when examining problems. As your technicians utilize the system by viewing, referencing, and entering new information via the system's technician's console, the feedback analyzer keeps track of and analyzes their feedback to factor into the knowledge base. The technician feedback analyzer can either strengthen or weaken the ugram relationships within the system based on the feedback from those technicians. In this way, the system, as a learning entity, continues to gain more relevant data and knowledge the more the system is used, providing you with greater competitive advantages over time, based on what it is taught by technician's input. The technicians interact with the diagnostic system via the technician's console located at their individual workstations to find solutions to problems or to draft and submit new solutions for the collective knowledge base. The diagnostic system's AI engine is taught, compiles knowledge, and thereby grows smarter over time. The solution can become a unique competitive advantage to your mission-critical support operations. For the diagnostic system to respond with relevant solutions, 
conceptual and semantic searches need to be performed based on contextual understanding of concepts. This involves indexing and filtering data in a way that speeds up searches with a deeper understanding of search terms. Our solutions breakthrough technology, the power under the hood, is our system's ability to solve the long tail of search, which means that it can find the most relevant solution needle in the vast knowledge base haystack. As the number of words needed for performing precise data searches have increased from merely one word searches to searches which involve more words, our diagnostic solution has more value and more power because it can automatically handle queries using more search words. Because our diagnostic solution can utilize more words in system searches, the relevance of the results is therefore much more precise, and thus the inferences made are far more relevant than by doing it manually. Next, we'll describe how the diagnostic system contextually infers concepts in order to serve up relevant solutions to mobile device problems. To begin, let's show you a simplified example of what we call the landscape of meaning that the diagnostic system uses for understanding semantic implications for searches and for arriving at relevant results. Imagine a universe of numerous concepts, concepts which our solution would use to connect together to derive various meanings. These meanings would later be used by our system to create solutions to problems. To show you how inferences and related connections are made between numerous concepts, let's focus on one basic example out of millions of concepts, the concept of hot dog. Within this universe of concepts, there are many possibilities of what constitutes a hot dog. For example, there could be hot dog with mustard or hot dog with ketchup. These two other concepts share similar attributes with the first concept, and yet, they also differ in some way. If we were to break down each concept to see what makes them up, we would see something like this. Notice how hot dog with mustard and hot dog with ketchup are almost identical, and thus an inference can be made that they're related in some degree to the first hot dog concept, and yet they also differ in the attribute of mustard or ketchup. These dots, or attribute sets, that make up a concept are what we call U-gram clusters. Each U-gram, or dot, that makes up a cluster consists of anywhere from 1 to 16 relational groupings of words. These U-grams are semantically related with each other in order to comprise a concept's meaning. U-gram clusters allow our system to make inferences and establish connections between various concepts in a system. Our system analyzes these concepts and infers relationships between them in order to serve up descriptions of problems and solutions for automatic processing by the system or for manual review by technicians. This example showing hot dogs only depicts one level of complexity. Our system actually can handle a much greater depth of complexity and iterations of meanings and inferences to contextually infer concepts in order to serve up solutions to problems. To provide a more relevant example, let's look at a problem concept which is related to mobile devices. Let's take HTC Evo touchscreen failure as a concept. There are many other concepts out there that could be related to this one. For example, two related concepts might be HTC Evo Screen Freeze or HTC Evo Screen Crash. If we were to break down each concept to see what makes them up, we would see something like this. Notice how HTC Evo Screen Freeze and HTC Evo Screen Crash are almost identical and thus an inference can be made that they are related in some degree to the first HTC Evo touchscreen failure concept. And yet, they also differ in the attribute of crash or freeze. The U-gram clusters making up these problem concepts are interconnected to comprise a concept's meaning. Our system analyzes these concepts and infers relationships between them in order to serve up descriptions of problems and solutions. 
the complex work of analyzing and making inferences between all the different concepts in the landscape of meaning is the artificial intelligence engine, which is at the heart of FutureDial's diagnostic solution. The AI engine is one part of the machine learning components of our system. The AI engine understands the contextual meanings behind all these concepts, and it coordinates how the inferences are made between them all so that it can perform more precise searches and serve up relevant diagnostic solutions. In addition to the automatic aspects of the system, another important component of our diagnostic solution is the technician's console, which allows your technicians to interact with the knowledge base and also to submit new solutions to new problems when necessary. Let's observe how technicians would interact with FutureDial's diagnostic solution to handle new and unknown device issues. The technician is alerted by the system of a new problem occurring in the field. The technician logs into his diagnostic console to learn more about the reported problem and to try to identify possible solutions. The technician's console is uniquely designed to graphically present the information and to help the technician see possible cause relationships in an easy to understand way. Let's show you more details of the components of the technician's console. The system's graphical display provides critical information about the new problem. The left side of the screen features a color-coded series of hexagonal panels, listing the reported problem in the center, surrounded by other hexagonal panels, displaying possible related issues which are served up by the artificial intelligence engine from the knowledge base. These panels are arranged in four quadrants or dimensions, based on how similar or related they are to the main problem, or how broader or narrower the solution is related to the main problem. The right side of the screen provides a description of the problem and the details of a solution for the problem, if available. This portion of the screen also allows for the technician to make edits and to submit solutions to the knowledge base. Let's look closer at the color-coded panels themselves and see what information they display and how the technician can interact with them. Each hexagonal panel contains some summary information for the technician's reference, a brief description of the problem being reported, the number of instances that this problem has occurred, and an indication of whether or not a solution is currently available for the issue. With this display, a technician can understand, at a glance, some general information about a given problem. The original main problem is always displayed in the center of the grid. Possible related solutions served up by the artificial intelligence engine are arranged around the main problem for the technician's reference. Their placement on the grid is determined by their relevance to the main problem. The more closely relevant solutions are displayed closer to the center, while the less relevant solutions are displayed further away from the center. The technician can use the PC mouse to hover over the hexagonal panels to view a pop-up summary about the problem with a little more detail about its solution. Clicking on a hexagonal panel will cause the other panels to recenter around the selected panel. Some of the surrounding panels may stay the same, or they may change, depending on the relationships and relevance they have around the central problem. Again, this arrangement shows how closely or distantly related or relevant the other panels are to the main problem in the center. The selected panel's detailed information will be displayed on the right side of the technician's console screen. After reviewing the possible solutions served up by the artificial intelligence engine on the technician's console, the technician confirms the best solution and uses the console to write up the steps and post the new solution to the diagnostic system's knowledge base for the new problem. After the new solution is submitted to the knowledge base, the system will distribute it out to devices that currently have the problem. And in the future, if any other devices encounter the same problem, the system can automatically distribute the new solution to those affected devices.
Future Dial's mobile device diagnostic solution employs breakthrough long tail search technology, an artificial intelligence engine, and other machine learning components to efficiently filter and process huge amounts of data in the knowledge base to serve up precise, relevant solutions to device problems. The system can automatically handle known problems that have existing solutions in the knowledge base and it can also assist your technicians to discover and devise new solutions for newly reported unknown problems. The AI engine and knowledge base grow and become smarter over time, staying current with device issues and provides intelligently inferred solutions to problems. The system provides real-time monitoring and alerts to help your technicians and field personnel to stay on top of breaking issues for timely responses. Powerful decision engines and servers automate much of the information distribution and resolutions of known issues to newly affected customers, and this relieves the burden on your internal resources. Problem resolution in the field leads to fewer service visits, which leads to a lower risk of returns or exchanges. Thank you for watching. For an introductory overview of the solution describing features and benefits, please view video number one. For a simulated demonstration of the solution showing how the diagnostic solution handles different scenarios, please view video number two. And for any questions, please contact FutureDial Sales.